would smoke bloody execution. My father's mimic carved out his past till he faced the slave, which near shook hands nor bid farewell to him. Till he unseemed him from the nave to the chops and bit his head from our battle. <laughs>
get your beards forbidden to return to you yourself. Speed if you can. What are you? All hail Macbeth, hail to thee, fame of Blongs. All hail Macbeth, hail to thee, fame of Cawdor. All hail Macbeth, thou shalt be king hereafter. Good sir, why do you start to see the queer things that do sound so clear? In the name of the truth, are you fantastical, or are you indeed the child of the show? My noble partner, you greet the present race and great predictions of noble having the royal hope. They speak not. To me, you speak not. You can look into the seas of time and say the great and grow you which will not. Speak then. To me, who neither beg nor fear your favors nor your hate. Hail! 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 Lesser than Macbeth. And great. Not so happy, yet much happier. Thou shalt get kings, though thou be not. So all hail Macbeth. And Banquo, Banquo, and Macbeth. All hail. Say it, you imperfect speakers. My single set, I know I'm a thing of Mons, but how is Cotter? The thing of Cotter lives a prosperous gentleman. And if the king stands out from the prospects of belief, no more than to be of God. Give him what you owe this strange intelligence. Then why, upon this blasted deed, you stop our way with prophetic dreams? Speak, I charge you! The earth hath bubbles as blood and pass, and these are ugly. Whither are they vanished? Into the air, what seems corporal melted and spread into wind. Would they have stayed? Were such things here as we do speak of? Or have we eaten on the insane root that takes reason prisoner? Your children shall be kings. You shall be king. And the same of God or two. <laughs> Why did not so? To the same self, do the words. Who's there? The king hath happily received you better than news of thy success. And when he reads thy personal venture, in the rebel's fight, his wonders and praises do contend, which should be thy praise. And everyone did bear thy praises in the kingdom's great defense, and bore them down before him. We are sent to give thee from our royal master's sins, only to herald them into his sight, not lay thee. And for in earnest of greater honor, he bade thee from him call thee name of God. In which addition, hail most worthy thing, for it is thy. What, can the devil speak true? The thing that God lives, why do you dress me in borrowed clothes? Who is the thing that lives yet, but under heavy judgment bears that life which he deserves to lose, whether he was combined with those of Norway or did let the rebel hidden health advantage, or that of both? He labored in his country's wrath, I know not. The treason's capital, confessed and proved, have him overthrown. Gloms and they have come. The greatest is behind. Ah, thank you, gentlemen. Do you not hope your children shall be kings? When those that give the thing of Cawdor to me promise no less to them? That, trust at home, might yet enkindle you onto the crown. But beside the thing of Cawdor, tis strange, and oftentimes to win us our hearts. The instruments of darkness tell us truths. When us with honest strivers betray us in deep consequence. Cousins, a word I pray you. Two truths are told. As happy prologues to the swelling act of the imperial theme. Ah, thank you, gentlemen. This supernatural solicitude cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, why have they given me earnest of success commencing the truth? I am the thing of Cabo. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion? Whose horrid image doth unfix my hair and make my seat heart knock at my ribs against the use of nature. Present fears are no less than horrible imaginings. My thought of murder is yet but fantastical. Chase. So my single state of man that is smothered and surmised, and nothing is but what is not. Look how our partners are out. <laughs>
Shameful have me pinned, then shameful crown me without my stir. Come what come may, time and hour runs through the roughest day. Worthy be felt, we stay upon your leisure. I do forget. Oh, uh, my little brain is wrought with things forgotten. Gentlemen, your pains are registered for every day I turn a leaf and read them. For the king! Think upon what hath a chance once more. The instrument having waited, let's speak our free hearts to each other. Very gladly. So then, enough. Implored your highness pardon, and set forth a deep repentance. Nothing in his life became him like believing it. He died as one that had studied in his death. To throw away the dearest thing he owed is to a careless trifle. There is no art to find mind's destruction in the face. He's a gentleman, whom I built an absolute trust. Oh, worthy cousin. The sin of my ingratitude even now is not. Thou art so far before the swiftest ring of recompense is slow to overtake thee. What thou hast thus deserved, that proportion of the thanks and payment might have been mine. All I can say is, more is that more than all can be. The service and loyalty I owe in doing it pays itself. Your Highness's part is to receive our duties. And our duties should be from children, state, and servants, who do all but what they can towards your love and honor. Welcome hither. I began to thank thee in the labor to make thee full of breath. No faithful. Thou hast less deserved, nor must he know no less to have done so. Let me enfold thee and hold thee to my heart. Thank you. 
thine ear, and chastise with the valor of my tongue all that impedes thee from the golden round, which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have been crowned with all. What is her tidings? The king comes here tonight. Thou art to not say it. It's not thy master with him who were so informed for preparation. So please you, it is true. Our thing is coming. One of my fellows had the speed of him, who almost dead for breath had scarcely more than would make up his message. Give him to me! He brings great news. The raven herself is hoarse. The crooks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits, attend on mortal thoughts. Unsex me here. And fill me from the crown to the tilt top full of dire's cruelty. Bennick, 
And so of time we've jumped the life to come. We teach with bloody instruction. Which in being taught, in time will return to play the inventor. We commend the ingredients of poisoned chalice to our own lips. She's here to double trust. First, as I'm her kinsman and her subject, both strong against the deed. Second, as I am her host, we should not close the door of her murderers, not bear the knife himself. Besides, Duncan hath borne her faculty so meek and hath been so clear in her great offices. Her virtues will plead like angels, trumpet tongued against the damnation of her taking off. I have no spur to break the sides of my intent. Only vaulting ambition, which now more leaps itself and falls on the other. How now, what news? She has no more sought. Why have you left the chair? Has she asked for me? No, you not, she has. We will proceed no further in this business. She hath honored me of late, and I've got golden opinions to all sorts of people. This should be one of them who is lost, not cast aside so soon. What's the whole drunk? Where are you dressed yourself? But it's not sense. You wasted an hour to be so green, yet I would have been so green. For this time, such I can have my love. I bow for you to be the same, and I am not too well or so. Peace. I dare to all the become a man, and who dares do more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time, nor place did then appear, yet you would make both. They have made themselves. Their fitness now doesn't make it you. I have given suck. And now how tender it is to love the babe that loves me. I would, with the smiling in my face, plucked my nipple from its fullness, I'm to dash you for that. I'm so sorry that you have done. If we should fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather her hard day's journey soundly invite her. For two chamberlains will I with wine and muscle so convinced that memory, the water of the brain, shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason will win back only. When in swine sleep, their drenched natures lie as in a death. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? Would not put upon her spongy officers that shall bear the guilt of our great trial. Will it not be received when we have won with blood and seen two of his chambers, and you stand bearing daggers to thank the diet? Who dares receive it other? We shall make our grace and claim a war upon the dead. I will settle with Benta. Each court relation to his terrible feet. Away! Then mock the fairest time show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. Shut up and measureless content. 
Being unprepared, our will became the servant to defect. What shall should free have wrought? Oh, well. I tried close to the three verses, sisters. To you they have shown some truth. I think they're not. Yet, yeah. if we treat now to serve, I'd like to spend some time upon that business, if that were at the top. Absolutely. Till then, cleave to my consent. If tis a shall make honor for you. So I lose my own seeking to a but will keep my bosom franchised in the least. I don't know. Good. Propose the lie. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Go bid thy mistress when her drink is ready. She calls, calls upon the bell, then get thee to bed. Stay rose, 
They said their prayers, addressed them, and went back to sleep. There are two watched together. One cried in. God bless us, the other. Seeing me with the hangman's hands, I could not say men when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so evil. Wherefore could I not pronounce say men? I was the most evil blessing with amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought and after these ways, so it will make us mad. We thought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Make back those murders, sleep!
This place is too cold for hell. I'll devil porter it no further. I thought to let in some of all professions that go the promised way of the everlasting bonfire. Anon! Anon! And drink, sir, is a great provoker of three things. And what three things does drink expressly provoke? Mary, sir! No spain, sleep, and urine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear, sir. It provokes and unprovokes. It provokes the desire, takes away the performance. Therefore, much drink may be said to be an equivocator with lecture. It makes him and it mars him. It sets him on and takes him off. It persuades him and his heart him. Makes him stand to and not stand to. <laughs> In conclusion, equivocates him to sleep, giving him the lie. Leaves him. I believe drink gave me the lie last night. That it did, sir, in the very throat on me. But I requited him for his lie. And I think being too strong for him, though he took up my leg sometimes, I made a shift to cast him. Is my master stirring? Our doctor is working, and here he comes. Good morrow, sir. Good morrow, folks. Is my master stirring with you today? Not yet. She did demand me all time, and I never want to come slip the hour. I'll show you the way. Uh, I understand it's a joyful show, but you must just want. There's the door. I'll make some both the call for just my little turn. Goes the king hence today? She does. She did appoint so. The night has been unruly where we lay. Our chimneys were blown down. And as they say, lamenting is heard in the air, strange screams of death. We prophesy with accents terrible of dire combustion and confused events. You hatch the woeful time. The obscure bird clambered the light all night. Some see the earth was fever, some did shake. T'was a rough night. The young remembrance did not parallel go to it. Oh, horror, horror. Tongue nor heart cannot conceive nor name thee. What's the matter? Confusion hath made his masterpiece. Most sacrilegious murder hath broke up the Lord's anointed temple and stole from thence the life of the filthy. What is it you say, the life? You can Go, approach the chamber and destroy your sacrament and your glory. Do not make me speak till I abstain and speak thyself. Awake. Awake! Murder and treason! Faith will not away and now you awake! Wake from this downy sleep! Death's counterfeit and gaze upon death itself! Up and out and see the great doom's image! Then go and now to ask from your graves, rise like sprite to countenance this horror! Ring the bell! What's the business? Such a hideous trumpet calls to Marley the sleepers of the house. Sing, sing. Oh, gentle lady, it is not for you to hear what I can speak. Obey, oh, folk. Our word of last is murder. Oh, 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 Immortality, all is but toys. Grace, the renowned is dead, but his left is the very vault to brag of. What is amiss? You are, and don't know it. The spring, the head, the fountain of your blood is stopped. Mary Sutton is stopped. The royal mother's murder. Oh, by whom? Those of her chambers Yeah. 
ashes, like breaches against nature, and there the murderers, steeped in the colors of their trade. Their daggers unrandomly breached with gore. Who could refrain my heart to love, and the heart to make courage love? No. And when we have a name trail to him, then suffer his exposure, let us beat and question this most bloody piece of work to know for. Fear and scruple shake us, and in the great hand of God I stand in heads against undivulged creatures like fight and treasonous mouth. And so do I. So long. Let us briefly put on manly readiness and meet in the hall together. Welcome, Welcome to
as Mark Anthony's was last season. She chipped the sisters and bade them speak to her when they put the name of King upon me. Then, prophet like, they held her mother to a line of kings. They placed a fruitless crown upon my head and a barren scepter in my grip, which should be wrenched with an unlinial hand. No son of mine is seen. If it be so, bad position is still my mind and put branches in my vessels of peace. The seed of Banquo's kings to champion the ignorance. Who's there? Invisible hands 
that tender eye. The crow goes itself to the rocky wood. Things a day need to droop in drought. Well, that's our age to that praise to browse. Thou marvel step my words but hold thee still. Things bad will make themselves strong by ill. So bring it. Go with me. The West yet glimmers with some streaks of day.
go, what say you? If thou canst not, speak to me. on their crowns and push us back from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends who have you. I do forget. Uh, do not use me, my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity, which is nothing to those who know me. Uh, anon, you drink. Give me some wine.
castle of Victor, I was surprised. Give the edge of the sword to his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that stand in his line. No boasting, my fool. Where are these gentlemen? Show me where they are. Good sometimes. 
account dangerous folly. What's the newest 
brief. But how is game to stop the seeker? Each minute seems to be one. Be in their comfort. We are coming thither. Gracious England hath lent us good seaward and ten thousand men in order and better soldier than any Christian duck can give. What concern they? No mind, that's honest. But we didn't share some woe. Though the main part of the king's he will own. Be of mind, keep it not for me, quickly let me have it. Let not your ears despise my tongue forever with shouts as the heaviest sound they have ever heard. Uh, I, I guess it did. You have so many surprises. Your life and your days have to myself. Your late matter, or on the glory of these. All of my children? My children. Servants all of them. And I must be from thence. My wife killed too. I have said. Be this the comfort of our great revenge. Make this the medicines to cure the sin. He has no children! Did you say all? Oh, he'll try it all! All my little chickens in their dam in one fell swoop. Disputed like a man! I don't do so! But I don't know how to feel it as a man. I cannot but remember such things so precious to me. And heaven look on and not take part. Sinful me duck, but they were sharp for thee. Not that I am. I'm for their own demerit, but for mine fell slaughter on their souls that are rest them now. Be this the wet stone of your sword. Let grief convert to anger. Blunt out the heart in rage. Oh, I can play a woman with my eye and drag her with thy tongue. But heaven cut short on intermission. Front to front, bring thou this Venus goblin in myself, that within thy sword plain set it. And if he escape, heaven forgive him too. This tomb goes manly. Come we to the king! Our power is ready, our land is nothing but our lead. Macbeth is right for shaking. And if power is above, put on the instruments. Receive what cheer you may. The night is long and never finds the day. No truth in your report. When was it she last walked? Since Majesty in the field, I have seen her rise from her bed, throw her nightgown upon her, take one paper, write upon it, read it after the seal it, and then return to bed. All this while the most fast sleep. A great perturbation in nature to receive at once the benefit of sleep and the effects of watching in this slumber and agitation, besides her walking and other actual performances, what at any time have you heard her say? That's her which I will not report after her. You may to me, as most means you should. Neither to you nor anyone, having no witness to confirm my speech. Lo, here she comes, this her very guise, and upon my life fast this sleep. Observe, stand close. How came she by that light? I had stood by her. She has life by her to me. Tis her command. You see her eyes are open. I right, but her sense is shut. What is it she does now? Look at how she rubs her hands. It's an accustomed action of her to see us thus washing our hands. I have known her to repeat this in a quarter of an hour. Yet, here's a spot. Hark, she speaks. I shall set down what comes from her to create to satisfy my remembrance more strongly. How to torture spot and out! Say. One, two. Charged. Not has such a heart, my presence, the dignity of the whole body. 
Well, well, well. You got it, please, sir. This disease is beyond my practice, but I've known those who've walked in their sleep who have died away in their beds. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale like any old man made both fair. She cannot come out of her grave. And so. Get me my armor! 
Doctor. The doctors cast out the walls of the silver. Find her disease. Cure her left with pristine. Pull it off. What do you want? I will fear not death nor bane till Burnham Forest come to Dunsay. Cousins! I hope the days are near at hand that chambers will be safe. He died of nothing. What, what is this before us? What of Burnham? Let every soldier here be down bound there before him. There be we shall shadow the numbers of our host and make discovery our report of us. It shall be done. We learn no other but the confident tyrant keeps still in Dunsany and will endure our setting down before it. Tis his main hope. Where there is advantage to be given, both more or less have given him the revolt, and none serve him but constrained things whose hearts are absent. Let our just centers attend this true event, and put we on industrious soldiership. Yeah! Time approaches that will, with due decision, make us know what we shall say we have and what we owe. Not speculative, there are unsure hopes for late, but certain issue strokes must arbitrate. Towards which, advance the war. Ah! Thou would be afraid to hear it. 
No, though thou callest thyself the name higher than any is in hell. My name is Macbeth. The devil himself could not pronounce a title more hateful in my ear. No more fearful. Thou liest the poor tyrant. With my sword I'll prove the lie thou speakest. What need for else that shall be called upon us? 